channel if you are new welcome so we are officially in October which means Halloween tutorials back to back for you guys I have been missing for like the month of September I was in the middle of moving so it was a lot going on I wasn't really able to squeeze in any time to film but now that we're in October, these tutorials are so different than what us YouTubers normally do throughout the year. And we actually look really forward to Halloween. It's really fun to kind of test our creativity and our talent. My first Halloween tutorial, I went with the Joker. I felt that since I have short hair now, it was kind of like, it only made sense to do this tutorial because of the new Joker from the Suicide Squad movie. It's pretty basic, there's really nothing that's like too complicated about this tutorial. Honestly, the hardest part of, about filming all of this was like writing this right here because I could not write backwards. So I tried so many different things to get this to actually like be noticeable for you guys. I think this is about my first Halloween tutorial that I've ever filmed. And it's probably so weird taking me serious speaking when I look like this, but that's what Halloween is all about. I just want you guys to let me know what is it that you wanna see for Halloween. Give me some ideas down below. I have a few in mind already, but the more ideas I can get, the better. So let's finally just get into this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started, guys. First, I'm grabbing my OPV concealer palette. I'm taking that white cream right there, and I'm going to apply that all over my face using a flat brush. You want to be sure not to forget your ears and I'm also going to be bringing it down my chest. I'm leaving my shoulders alone because I'm going to be putting a shirt on a little bit more later on in the video. Next I'm going to grab a flat brush and I'm just using that to pat on my face to try to minimize as many streaks as I possibly can that the brush left over. Next, I'm gonna take this light powder by Modus Cosmetics, and I'm applying that all over my face with a fluffy brush to give my face a more dirty appearance. When you apply a neutral powder over the white, it just gives you more of that like dirty yellow effect. Next, I'm gonna grab a red lip liner, and I'm applying that to my waterline, and then I'm gonna take a black eyeliner and apply it over the red just to give my eyes a more bloodshot look. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna grab the Unseen Eyeshadow by Melt Cosmetics from their eyeshadow stack, and I'm applying that right on the outside of my waterline. A blending brush will give you a less defined look, which is what we're going for with this tutorial. Next, I'm going in with Enigma, which is a more burgundy colored eyeshadow, and I'm applying that closer to my lash line. Then I'm going to apply the Unseen eyeshadow all over my lid, moving up past my crease. Then I'm going to also go back with the Enigma eyeshadow that I put in my lower lash line. I'm applying that to my lid. Then I'm gonna take this dark matter eyeshadow, which is a black shadow, and I'm applying that again right underneath my waterline. Then I'm just gonna add some mascara. I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Moving on to lashes, I'm using the NYX Be Wicked Lashes. And once that is added, I did add some wing liner to make it a little bit more girly. I'm going to take this purple shadow from the Sugar Pill Pro Palette, and I'm gonna add that underneath my waterline as well. Then I'm gonna go with the same 
Melt Cosmetics stack that I was using on my eyes and I'm going to take some of the colors there and to create more vein-like features on my face. Then I'm gonna also grab this injury stack. I bought it from the Spirit Halloween store. It comes with a variety of colors to look like natural scars or veins on your face. Then I'm just gonna apply some powder over it, make it look a little bit more realistic. Next, I'm gonna grab a black gel liner, and then I'm going to create the tattoos on my face that the Joker from the Suicide Squad movie has. With the damage on my face, I had to get some assistance to put that on my face because no matter how many times I tried to do it by myself, I could not do it. I could not write backward and in cursive. It was way too much of a challenge for me. So if you need some help with it, have no shame in your game. Now I'm gonna grab the same red lip liner that I was wearing in my waterline. And this lip liner is by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm just applying that all over my lips. And then I'm going to smudge it all around. Next, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks and the first color I'm applying is called Vintage. Then I'm gonna go in with Kitten Heels right over that. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm just gonna smudge that around my lips and then take a liner brush to create those points on the corner. Next, I'm gonna take this Japonesque Velvet Touch eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take that brown right there and apply that to my cheekbones and my temples and then just apply it anywhere around my face and chest that will kind of give me more of a dirty appearance. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing Japonesque the right way, but you guys understand where I'm going with this. Next, I'm gonna grab some aluminum foil and I'm going to apply that on my teeth. And then I'm gonna take some colored wax and apply that right over the aluminum foil to make my teeth look like they are really dirty. And I'm just gonna apply some makeup over my shirt so that it looks a little bit more used and abused. And that is the end of this tutorial. See you guys next week. I was and I don't see